Hey there. Today we're going to learn about uh, how to tar a directory. And what we'll do is we'll add in, um, uh, we'll compress it as well. But first, I have a directory all set up here named test. We'll go in there, see all these files in here. So they're just empty files I created a minute ago. So what you do, you start out just above where you want to tar, and you do the tar command, uh, and then you want your, your arguments. So we're going to use C for create, V for verbose, F for file. The file name goes here. Uh, we'll call it test.tar. And then you want to specify what you're, you're tarring up. So it's going to be um, dot slash, meaning it's in the same directory that we're in, the current directory. And I'm just going to use TE and then the tab key to complete it. And then just hit enter. Zip. Um, and there it is. So, uh, now those, those don't have very much uh, meat to them because they're, they're just all empty files. But say it was something huge um, and you wanted to compress it a little bit, uh, what we can do is we create a uh, um, a TGZ file, targz, and uh, all we do is add a Z in the in the front there, and do it again. Zip. So now you can see we have the uh, .tgz, which you can also name it um, tar.gz if you like. Zip. So now we have those three, and you can see how much how big this one is, and then as soon as you compress it brings it down quite a bit. Uh, and that's it. That's how you tar up something. Now if you're going to unpack it or untar it, um, what we can do is, uh, let's move test to test.ridge. Alright, so right now there's there's no test directory anymore. Um, let's go ahead and unpack the uh, test.tar. So we're going to have tar uh, x for extract, v for verbose, F for file, test.tar. Ready? Now the uh, <coughs> something to remember is your tar file is going to hang out. It's not going to get rid of it. Um, and it'll create this test directory because that's what it was when we when we tarred it up. And as you can see, everything's still there. And that's it. Thanks.